Many divisions in the Democratic Party stem from the fact that traditional blue-collar workers felt ignored. Donald Trump lavished attention on these Americans in the Rust Belt, and it paid off. Waters World visited one of the same manufacturing plants that Donald Trump did during the campaign, Source, just outside of Pittsburgh. There I spoke to workers about the election. Tell me how you've seen this area change over the course of several years. Uh, well, my family was uh, in industry, and uh, the steel millers are, are no longer here. The jobs are gone. Economy's down, not a lot of work, businesses are closing. It's, it's pretty bad, actually. And I know people that love this community, like myself, I would do anything for it. There's other people that's given up. You know, they're leaving. I have three children, and, you know, it's, it's scary for the future. So simply put, this facility does what? We take uh, trash and turn it into cash. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have right here? Uh, well, this is a, a type of a feed stock that we would put into the shredder. We run this stuff through to try to size it and extract any uh, steel, uh, dirt, anything that's not aluminum. Every soda can that you drink out of is made of uh, aluminum. It takes a lot less energy to make something from a recycled product than it does to start over again. Do you think I'd survive in this industry? Uh, by the way you look, uh, no, you look like a clean cut guy. <laughs> You'd like to get dirty. <laughs> Want to go for a ride? Let's go. Tell me about the culture inside this company. Now, as far as myself and my co-workers, I mean, all down earth, hard working, blue collar guys. I, mean, I'm, I come from a blue collar family. My grandfathers and my family worked in the steel mills here in town. It's scary, like I said, you know. We, we don't know what's gonna happen sometimes, so we just come and show up. Do you think Washington cares about people in America that work with their hands? Uh, it certainly doesn't feel that way. A lot of these guys in the plant uh, will come from uh, Democratic Party voters, uh, you know, long time you know, union members, et cetera. And I, I do believe that they were taken advantage of. Hillary Clinton's party wrote us off. They wrote a lot of people off in the middle class, and they didn't really count on that. We need to take steps forward. It seems like for the last eight years, we've just been going backwards. And we need something positive to uplift everybody, you know, give everybody some hope. When Trump came here, how would that make you feel? It felt good. It felt good uh, to know that he cares, to know that he knows that we're here and we're struggling and uh, we need a change. We are going to put American steel and aluminum back in to the backbone of our country. Pundits in the press said Donald Trump speaks behind a wall of garbage. Yeah. How'd that make you feel? Uh, that didn't go over very well. That was like, that put a lot of sand in these guys' shorts. We, we take a lot of pride in what we do. And what we felt like was we had guys from the press, and don't take this the wrong way, you guys live in a different world. And instead of coming here and judging us, you know, based on what we do, they, they kind of looked at us like, you know, we were the dirt under their heel. You know, we work hard, and what we do is, is important. And uh, without us, you know, uh, the country doesn't go. What was Trump's message when he was here at the facility? I think he just wants to bring the working man back to work. He wants to uh, help you provide for your families and, and uh, bring the jobs back. and gives you some type of uh, safety when you're at home with your family. Your expectations in the next four years are what? I understand he can't fix everything in four years. I get that. I'm, I'm a realist. But the, uh, he takes the initiative to try and the drive to keep pushing forward. And that's all I ask. He's a human being, you know. He can only do so much, you know. But I hope, I hope he comes through with a lot of stuff. Any message you want to say to Mr. Trump? Make America great again. Bring us back up top. Uh, take us forward. We need a change. We need to feel safe again. And right now, we just don't feel that way.